Hi, Andrew Pfeiffer here from Pfeiffer Law again. Thanks for tuning into my probate series. We've been talking through full administrations in Ohio, creditors' claims, how they work. We've also been looking at fiduciaries most recently, and I'm going to do another fiduciary related video today. So, just as a reminder from my other video, there's two different types of fiduciaries, and they have a, a range of different names or titles, but they're really the same thing administrator or executor, depending on whether we're talking about an estate that has a will or doesn't have a will. And the fiduciary is appointed fairly early on in the process after the initial filing stage. Uh, and a bond sometimes is required, which is an insurance policy that protects assets of the estate from misuse or uh, waste by the fiduciary. But just as a reminder, the fiduciary is serving on behalf of the beneficiaries or the legatees of the estate. And so the fiduciary owes them duties of loyalty, good faith, to preserve assets, to account for debts, to make final distributions. One of the areas in my probate practice where I get a lot of questions is related to real estate in an estate. And so I get people that are calling, they're so upset because someone's died and the, the locks have been changed on the house or a repair is getting made to a piece of real property that they weren't made aware of. And they're saying, how can the executor do this? How can, how can this be right? And so sometimes I have to tell people, well, the executor has certain key duties related to real property. And specifically, the duties that an executor has that are most common are to pay taxes or assessments. If there's things that are due to the government or a governmental agency on behalf of real property, they have a duty to make necessary repairs, right? This doesn't mean to put a pool in on a house that doesn't have a pool, but this could mean if there's a hole in the roof, getting that hole repaired to try to protect from water coming in and you know, doing further damage to the property. So they have duties, pay the taxes and assessments, make necessary repairs to protect the real property and often to update insurance policies and make sure that there is proper insurance, which I always tell my clients if they're serving in an executor or a fiduciary role, if there's no one living in the home, let's make sure we call the insurance agent right away and update it to empty dwelling insurance. We want to make sure that we are honoring our fiduciary duties to the beneficiaries of the estate by protecting real property. So sometimes what may seem like an executor or a fiduciary is, is acting wrongly by changing the locks or getting a repair done really just may be what their attorney is advising them to do because the law says you have to protect this house until the pendency of this administration comes to a completion. Thanks so much for tuning in and learning a little more about Ohio probate, specifically fiduciary roles with real property. Mm -hmm.